So the first one is ace. And how we use that. But first let me explain what is ace. Ace is actually a card. The ace of diamonds. That's what that word come from, ace. From this deck of cards, card. So, but when you use it uh, in a in a regular talk, or you hear that word, means that you are good at something, or the person is good at something. Okay, let me give you an example. Uh, you have a test at school, and uh, and you're studying, and then you go, you finish your test. And somebody asks you, a friend, say, how did it go? And you say, I ace it. I pass it. That's what it means. You got it. Okay? And another way to use the word ace is when somebody is good at something. Very good at it. Okay? Let me give you an example. Uh, Michael Jordan. He was a, the best basketball player. So, no matter what the opponents did or tried to do to stop him, he aced them. Okay? So, he was very good. Alright? So, that's another example that you are good at something. Or, let's say you hit. Uh, a goal. You hit the goal ball. Bah! And you got a hole in one. You ace it. That is also another way to use that word. Ace. The next one is round the clock. Okay, I'm, I'm looking I'm looking through my device and because it's upside down so I'm you know, right? Round the clock. This word means simple, 24-7. Means that you're working 24-7. 24 hours, that's, that's a lot, right? But in a general term, even, even if you work 8 hours, uh, 10 hours, 12 hours a day, uh, what it means is that you are on it. You have a deadline when whatever you're doing has to be finished. And your boss asks you, how things are going? You say, we've been working around the clock. It will be done on time. Okay? So it's working around the clock. Non-stop. <clears throat> All right. Next one is having the blues. Having the blues, let's say, let's, to put it easy, let's say Christmas is approaching, it's coming, it's around the corner. And some people get, when that particular time comes, season comes, they get, some get uh, depressed, sad, just because of the season. They probably have reasons to feel that way, which is very, very respectful. You know? And so that's a, a, a way to use it, having the blues. Because something makes you sad, depressed. Something or somebody. Okay? So, next one, back. Buck is actually a male deer. Oh, could be a male rabbit, male sheep. It is called buck. Okay? But also is used when you need money, let's say. Okay? If you ever heard the expressions, do you have a buck? Or do you have an extra buck I could borrow? 
That means, do you have a dollar? A buck means one dollar. Okay? That is. You got it. Okay, next one is cheesy. Like I said, I'm, I'm trying to look through my device. Okay, cheesy, all right. Cheesy means when, uh, actually means if something smells cheese, a very strong smell of cheese, that's what it means. But also, let's say you, you go, you rent a place, a place or a car and it's not of your taste. Okay, it's, so you say, yeah, that's cheesy. That's very cheap. It looks cheap. Okay, that is another expression. But the actual, actual expression is that the smell is very strong. It smells cheese a lot. Okay. All right. Next one, cram. If you ever heard that expression, cram means, uh, let's say. You invite your friends for a trip, okay? And your car, let's say, is, is only for four. But then six of your buddies show up. And so, but you invite them. And so your car is crammed with friends, it's packed, okay? Another expression, another way to use it is uh, let's say you have an exam and you have to hit the books big time you have to study real hard okay so you're gonna hear that expression cram okay to study really really intensely okay to to do very good on your test okay the next one is Mm. drive up the wall drive up the wall as when somebody irritates you annoys you okay it's very annoying person or very ir irritating okay something of, not, not necessarily a person okay not necessarily it could be something that is irritates you it's no pleasant to you to watch or to hear okay then you can use is driving me up the wall okay next one go Dutch and that is a, an expression you will hear let's say when you're in a restaurant with a bunch of your friends uh, and somebody say so how is gonna be pay and you say, let's go Dutch, which means everybody pays their own meals. Okay, so that's that's the expression go Dutch. The next one is let's see what it says. Hang out, hang out. Okay, or oh, hanging out. the usual expression where that comes from is let's say when you are hanging your clothes outside to be dry you are hanging out your clothes but it's also when you hang out with somebody you go out with somebody let's say your girlfriend calls you where are you well I'm hanging out with my buddy, with my friend, okay? You are spending time with somebody, okay? Oh, you can use it also. Let's say you wanna walk, you wanna take a walk. Oh, I'm gonna hang out outside a little bit, okay? And then you sit down outside your home. You're hanging outside your home. You're sitting, you're chilling. All right, that's another way. Next one, hit the road. Did I get it right? Yes, hit the road. 
That expression is used where, when you are leading to somewhere. You are hitting the road. Either driving, walking, uh, with your bicycle. You are hitting the road to go somewhere. Or it is also when you are, let's say, you, if you are in a party with your friends and you are, you got to go. And you say, hey, hey buddy, I have to hit the road. You have to go back home. It's late. You're done. It was fun. Right. So hit the road. Next one. I feel you. I feel you. That means, uh, for example, you are talking to your friend and you are you are complaining about something or you are saying something that you that you believe is right and your friend say, yes, I feel you. That means I understand you. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. I feel you. All right. The next one is, it is what it is. Something. A fact. Something that cannot be changed. Okay? It is what it is. Let's say uh, you buy something that is, is, is very affordable, but it, usually those things are very expensive. And then you probably think mm, maybe something's wrong with this stuff. And then you check, and yes, a little scratch maybe or something. And they say, uh, what about this can you drop the price and the guy say it is what it is that's why I, I give you the price because of that when there is you know it is a fact it is something uh, that can be changed cannot be adjust all right so next one Jonesing John saying if you if you hear that expression is well it's actually taken from uh, people uh, addicted to drugs let's put it that way okay uh, but it's not also used on that particular situation or, or term it's also if you are addicted to a place okay so you are jonesing about something, all right? And the last one, recap. Recap means when, when you have to go over something you said, okay? Uh, briefly, okay? Uh, but you have to say it again. You are recapping on something that you said or somebody said. It's like a ref it's just a refresh of what has been said just to make things clear okay so nobody means nothing all right so those are some of them uh, there are many okay so if you are having trouble understanding any of the slang that you have been encountering while you are learning English let me know I can help you all right please subscribe any questions ask me all right I'll be happy to help you to assist you okay so let's do it again a quick ace round the clock have the blues back cheesy cram Drive up the wall, go dodge, hang out, hit the road, I feel you, it is what it is, Yon Sing, recap. Alright, so keep it up, don't give up, come buddy, later. <laughs>